Delta plus just means that there's been an additional mutation in the Delta variant. We have not really seen that take off yet, and that's probably because it's being outcompeted by the Delta variant. So if you look at the original virus and you say there was a certain amount of infectivity associated with that, the UK or alpha variant was about 50% more infectious than the original virus. The delta virus is 50 to 60% more infectious than the alpha variant was. The vaccines we have available in the US, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, soon the Novavax vaccine, are all extraordinarily effective against death, hospitalization, and severe disease due to the Delta variant, as well as the other variants. That doesn't mean it's 100% protection against lesser degrees of infection. So instead of getting severe disease or being hospitalized, might you have a small chance of asymptomatic or mild or even a very small chance of moderate? Yes, that exists because not everybody has a strong immune system. And some people, and this is the work I do, some people have differences in their genetics that don't allow them to have a high, strong response as many of us have had. When we use the term variant, we are talking about a mutation that occurs in the virus that changes how that virus infects us. It could make it less infectious, which would be great. That's not happening. Instead, these mutations are learning how to become more and more infectious, more and more dangerous, which is why the big public health push to get people kind of past their fears and concerns to say, this is a life-saving vaccine.